Dustin and Dylan back here at the Country Scroller. In this episode, uh, you always wonder which came first, the chicken or the egg. Well, you won't find out in this video, but what you will find out is how I make this nice looking puzzle. And I uh, hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Alright, the uh, pattern we're going to be using for this chicken or egg first uh, is this here, and uh, I'll show you what to do. I just cut it out around the uh, egg part so I could get as precise as possible on the uh, egg and I'll show you why I did that because the uh, wood we're going to be using is a uh, quarter inch Baltic birch and then the uh, chicken inside is going to be using some quarter inch walnut to give it a uh, contrast between the uh, egg and the chicken but uh, the reason why I did the uh, I have to make sure that's cut out perfectly is because that you saw at the beginning of the video where uh, it wasn't just the egg it had a uh, border around it and it's something that'll sit in and I measured half inch from each side of a board and I will cut a circle out of that and it will be the same circle I use for the egg and it will be the uh, same piece of wood for the uh, border of it so it's sort of like a form to keep it all together and then after that, underneath it, we have a backer that it will go on top of. So, those are the woods that we'll be using. And uh, let's get started by applying the pattern to the wood. We're going to be using masking tape again that helps peel up the pattern. We've got our masking tape on there. Again, I left that half inch border. That way we know uh, how to center the egg in it like that. So now I'm going to uh, just spray the back of this with spray adhesive and to just apply the pattern like usual and I'll be back with you after it's uh, on there. And uh, if you haven't seen the pattern process, watch the last couple videos and uh, you'll get the gist of that. So I'm going to just finish applying the pattern and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, we got the uh, pattern on there. Now what I'm going to do is go over to a scroll saw and cut the uh, circle out of the uh, piece of wood here. That way we'll be able to use this as the border and this as the actual piece we'll have our uh, puzzle on and what I'm going to do is make a very small entry hole that you won't be able to see when I on either piece of the egg or the border of it and uh, that hide it the best I can and uh, that way we can get access to this instead of cutting from the outside in because that would just ruin the uh, border so I'm going to go ahead and drill that and I'll be over at the scroll saw Okay, we're over here on the scroll saw, and uh, we're just going to be cutting out the circle of the egg, and I'll uh, show you doing that. Okay, so we're back off the scroll saw, and this will just pop out. At this point, you can remove uh, the excess pattern or clear box tape, masking tape on this piece, because uh, you won't use this until the end where we'll glue it onto the backer and uh, work from there so uh, we can just set this aside and work with it in a little bit and what we're going to work with now is the uh, egg and uh, what we're going to do is cut out the uh, puzzle pieces and uh, remember I'm going to be making the uh, chicken out of walnut and uh, what I did is I've got an extra pattern and I can just tack that onto the walnut here and cut that out. Over here at the scroll saw now and uh, we're going to start uh, by cutting out the egg and I just want to address that the blade we're going to be using is a puzzle blade and the difference is that it is skinnier so the saw curve will be less and that will make sure that the pieces won't be too loose when we put them back together so we can just start by cutting out any uh, point and uh, we can just no entry holes are needed we just start cutting and that's about it for this so uh I'm going to turn the speed down a little bit because this is a smaller blade so I don't want to uh, break it and uh, let's start cutting. Okay, so now what we have is all of our puzzle pieces and uh, the chicken that we cut out of the birch, we can just go ahead and throw it away or you can keep it and 
pickle it to something and have a little chicken, but I'm just going to throw it away. So, uh, what we're going to do is just assemble it back together and uh, see how this uh, chicken we made out of walnut uh, looks in it. It was a little snug, but we uh, got it in there and uh, cutting on exactly on the line paid off and we got it to fit. Now, a uh, difference here is that it is, uh, you can see it's a little proud from the uh, birch. And that is because the uh, birch is plywood and they always undersize their measurements. And uh, because I actually milled the walnut myself to quarter inch. So uh, if we just sand that and make it flush and that way we ensure that it's all flat but uh all right that's good we have it all assembled now we can peel off the pattern and uh work on gluing these two pieces together because what will happen is we'll put this inside of this like that and uh we'll sand everything flush and then we'll glue the uh two pieces of birch together and then sand around the edges and then all these will just be free floating but we'll still sand them and then uh It'll be basically done, so what we're going to do next is just peel up the pattern, and then I will start uh, sanding and gluing. Alright, we have our uh, patterns off here, and I just went ahead and put the egg back together, and I put the uh, walnut thing inside there. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue these together, and then I'll sand because uh, it'll make sure that the edges are flush on that and everything. But uh, what I can do is, after this is all glued and sanded, I can put this inside it and uh, sand it from there. Now I'm sure that's all flush. And then uh, once that's done, that'll just go in there and and uh, it's basically done. So now I'm going to just glue this and then uh, we're going to sand it. And we're going to be using clear gel tacky glue. Just add a couple clamps to it. So what we're going to do is let that glue dry. Then we'll go back and sand. Alrighty, we're back here and uh, the glue on this piece is dry. So what I'm going to do is, uh, with this assembled, I'm just going to put this inside the uh, egg part in there. And then I'm going to uh, sand the surface of it. And then just take this piece and sand the edges and make it smooth. So I'm going to just show you how to do that. Alright, I'm just going to use this uh, quarter sheet sander. And uh, rough value use 220 because I don't have to remove much material. It's just a... Uh, smoothing it out throughout it so I uh, just go ahead and sand it already I just got done sanding that and uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and go over to the belt sander and uh, sand the edges of this smooth and I'll be right back with you and also you can give it a tad bit of round over on the edge of it so it's not so sharp and uh, I'll be right back with you after that. Already I'm back off the sander and I uh, eased off the edges and uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, the objective is to have a contrast between the uh, outer edge, the egg, and then the chicken in the middle. And the uh, chicken in the middle as you know is out of walnut and I planned for this whole piece to be out of walnut but I do not have enough walnut for that so I'm just going to spray paint it brown and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Here what I'm going to use is just this Krylon uh, brown. Alright, we're back here and uh, the brown is dry. Now what we're going to do before we do any clear coating or assembling, we're going to flip it over and do our usual burning in the back. Alrighty, now that the uh, burning in the back is done, we're almost done. Just got about one or two more steps to go. 
and uh, what we're going to do now is do a clear coat and uh, we're going to just keep the egg assembled and clear coat it because we don't have to worry about clear coating the edge or even the back we don't have to worry about doing and another thing I did here is uh, just on each uh, the back of each piece I burnt a little a dot on it that way if you're assembling it you know that that's the back of it not the uh, top so you don't get them confused even though there isn't that many pieces but still so what we're going to do now is just uh, clear coat the uh, actual base of it the brown and the egg and then we're going to do the back of the uh, actual base too so uh, clear coat time now At this point in the uh, project, uh, both pieces are clear coated. I went ahead and clear coated the back of this also. Now what we can do is just set this in here and uh, that's where you'll assemble it from the start. And uh, I'll show you how it'll look at the final product and uh, it'll be done. And there's the final product. Okay, so I hope you like this uh, video of the chicken or egg uh, puzzle that we have here. And uh, we just experienced with some contrasting woods and uh, to compensate for the uh, less quantity of walnut we painted the uh, outer edge brown so all in all I think it is a pretty good project we made and uh, see you next time on the country scroller where we will be making a uh, eagle and it will say USA on it now I'll wrap up the uh, top 20 videos and then we'll have a reflection video after that and uh, we'll do that every 10 episodes but we didn't do that episode 10 so we'll review up to episode 20 and then every 10 episodes we'll uh, review the projects that we did and uh, so we'll see you next time on the country scroller and uh, I'm Dustin I'm Dylan thanks for watching